But y'all think MB loses his job? Question is, when do y'all think MB loses his job? You think? I think, I think he don't lose his job unless he go to jail. That's a fact. And I think he going At max, I could possibly see him doing one or two years max. Fuck, man. Oh, he probably come out after a year. Because he going to try to play the victim. Like, oh, I didn't know. He told me this. You know what I'm saying? He going to try to flip it. Because that's how they saying it right now. And that nigga, it's funny, nigga, Charlamagne, on the um, snippet I seen, Charlamagne was trying to tell him to stop talking. Hey, stop He's talking. like, shut Light the fuck skin. up. <laughs> yeah, bro, this nigga, I just want to tell y'all, shut the fuck up. He said, your lawyers has told you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and he don't want to listen, bro, because he's like, I ain't going to try to do that. I ain't going to try to. I ain't going to lie, you're back against the wall, bro. You trying to do whatever you can to free your name. <laughs> I'm fighting but, for my fucking life. Yeah, you see, <laughs> straight up. Dude. I don't know who told R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, shit. And the game Robert, is, Robert. Robert. So you saying, Envy basically like, I don't care. Hey, whoever the jury may be. <laughs> You try to go for. I want y'all to know that I didn't do this. Yeah. You try to go for the jury of the public opinion first. As long as you get them to sway in your in your favor, then you know it's not that you can beat it. It's just that you can probably aim more for like a mistrial or whatever the fuck it is. Whatever you know, what I'm saying. Once you get enough people in your corner to where it's like. It leaves that doubt to, oh, uh, I don't know if and he you definitely can beat it. Yeah, <laughs> especially <laughs> especially especially if you on some awesome. shit like. Yeah, that's crazy. Especially if you on some shit like, uh, damn, y'all made me forget my motherfucking thought. <laughs> he can beat it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I ain't but nah, nothing. If you talking about the, the, the public public opinion, Jerry, public opinion. Yeah. But it's like, especially if you, uh, fuck, it's gone. Okay. It's gone. So, well, I mean, it just piggybacking off of what you're saying, bro, like, in that in that case, like, if you get if you can get the, the, the jury of public opinion on your side before they start going out for jurors, right? it might, you know what I'm saying? You might have the numbers on your side to where the jurors might just be biased to even fuck with you. Or right. or right. they might look at you like you a scamming fraud-ass nigga and it, it could go against you. You know what I'm saying? It's either or. It's a slippery slope. Or you can look, or you can be looked at as like a nigga that actually didn't know. He knew. You, I mean... Do y'all think he knew? I think he knew. You gotta know. You gotta I know. It's like... Level. I think he gave... Right. I think he's stupid. I think he gave his money like he... Oh, I want to do my shit into real estate. He's a fucking DJ. And I think he gave that nigga his money and, and old boy um, finessed him a little bit. But his face is so attached to it, he going to have to take it late. They're going to have to hit him with something. Because he was like doing the shit all across the radio and doing videos. Yeah. Making bro, they was doing like seminars. Exactly, bro. Like <laughs> renting out. Yeah, yeah. you you implicated. They take, they take it. It's going to be hard for him to try to, try to play that victim role, though, because you so tied in. But it like depends said, on seminar, like, that's different, bro. <laughs> for the seminars, <laughs> it, it depends. I mean, Caesar's obviously the mastermind behind the shit, so it's like he knows every in and out, pause, every in and out of the whole situation. So it's just like, all right, I can you can give somebody so much information, and they think that they like privy to everything. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right it's right. like, oh, okay, yeah, give that makes sense. Quit asking you, questions. It's like you can give a nigga enough information to make it make sense. To where all the money is going, and you still pocketing them a, a good amount. For sure. But this is why I think Envy did know is because, all right, where the fuck is all these properties at? You know what I'm saying? Right. Where are all these buildings? Because I, I, the fact that they saying that niggas didn't even have buildings from how DJ Envy was talking on the radio and just how he teach and you know what I'm saying how he mentor people and shit like that. You have to have some that backs up. You have to have some type of portfolio. That's a fact. That shows that, oh, okay, this is what we doing, and this is how, you know what I'm saying, how everything's going. So he had to know. The, they had to, he had to know, okay, we skimming just a little bit. Even if he knew it was, you know, $3,000, $4,000, right. just taking just a little bit off. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, charge him a little extra type shit. He knew a little bit. I think that nigga going to jail like a motherfucker. Fuck it. I think <laughs> that nigga going to jail. I ain't going I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Like, He's going I, to jail. I feel like he knew to a certain extent, like you said. And niggas gonna give you enough information to where it makes sense, or to where you, to where you don't have as many questions, to where you feel more, you know comfortable about where the money's going. But when you're doing these seminars, bro, and you see that seminars are a scam. I mean, I'm not gonna say that. We are gonna cut that out. I look around this. <laughs> All I see is potential. <laughs> Straight up, but those seminars are. It's not a scam, but it's an automatic money grab. And when you start, when you start clickbaiting niggas to come to those events. And you you showing all these different properties that you flipped in in Michigan and Detroit because I remember those moments because mm. I was they was talking they was like they was telling me I could buy a house in in, in Michigan in Detroit because they're mm. so cheap you know yeah because they're so cheap Angela Yee she was she was with them at the at the beginning she was definitely with them buying properties in Michigan so 
<laughs> then that's why she slid up. That might be why she slid up. I remember, I remember Angela Yee talking about it. In. I used to, I used to walk, be like, you know, Breakfast Club, a, a Breakfast Club listener. So yeah, she definitely back in the day. She was definitely talking about property she had in Michigan. She was definitely backing him up at that time when he was starting. So Envy knew something. Envy knew something. Ye probably realized something because she was kind of. I could tell the niggas it was iffy because Ye barely wanted to talk about that shit. Mm. She don't want niggas knowing her business, but.